Hi ladies, this is Tina, and I have a mini album that I want to share with you all. Um, I purchased this little cup and saucer um, chipboard mini at Michael's in the dollar bin, and I've seen several of you ladies um, that had also purchased this um, in your halls. And so um, I finally got around to creating mine, so I want to share it with you. And I just um, put some uh, lace here on the uh, binding ring and some satin ribbons um, that coordinate with the colors of the paper. And this paper line is Brenda Walton from um, K and Company. And um, I put a banner there, cut that out of paper with, um, and, and put um, that on there with dimensionals. And then that little butterfly that you see there, I learned how to make that um, with um, Kelly. Um, I will post her YouTube channel um, in the description box, but she is on the design team for Wild Orchid Crafts. And I had um, seen her um, tutorial on that and just thought it was so adorable. And so, as you see, it's really, really cute and very, very simple to make. Um, the bottom lace here is um, just a lace that I got at Hobby Lobby. And this top lace here with the little rosettes, um, that actually came from um, Recollections. And then there's some Recollections flowers right here on the handle. And so that's the first page. I mean, I'm sorry, the front cover. And then here's the first page. Um, another paper line that I used is October Afternoons Five and Dime. Um, but this is just a little journaling tag. And um, it's got a little coffee mug on there. And I put some bling on there. And I stamped it uh, with one of my journaling stamps. And then the next page here is the October Afternoons Five and Dime. And then the little butterfly there and the two flowers on each side of the um, journaling spot or the photo mat, whatever you want to use it for. Um, the flowers were cut out of the paper and then I glossy accented those. And then the next page here, I actually um, cut this out of my Cricut, and so it opens like this. So you can put a picture there or um, a journaling mat. And then there's a little birdhouse, and you can journal in the birdhouse. And then the next page is a uh, accordion pocket, as you can see on the corner there. Um, and these little tags um, are actually from um, Echo Park's Life is Good. I have that one. That one. So I thought those look looked really good with the, the paper line. And then the little house here and the bicycle and the butterfly um, are from the paper line. And then this little cloud here um, is actually puffed up with some liquid applique. And I'm not sure if you all are familiar with that or not, but um, it looks like this. And um, it's for uh, 3D effects on fabric and paper, so all you do is heat set it with your heat tool. And then this is just a little Recollections flower that I can pull on to um, get the tags. There's that page. And then this page, um, I'll give you an overview of it. Okay, has a little um, journaling spot here. 
and then this little envelope opens and it's held down with a magnet and then it has another little journaling tag here that I made and it just closes shut and then it has um, a little journaling tag back here behind the envelope it's like that and then I just have some lace at the bottom and then this page here is very simple I just put some more lace that I got there at Hobby Lobby and then here's a little journaling tag and this little clothespin holds the journaling tag and then um, the next page looks like that this trim here is just beautiful um, I purchased it at Saw Crafters and they have a lot of gorgeous items there um, beautiful fibers and ribbons and all kinds of goodies so you might want to check them out um, it's a Zibit store um, and then you just take the paper clip off and this is just a little sticker from the um, collection and then I made a little booklet for journaling or pictures And then the last page here is um, the frame and the bird are actually from Colorbox, but it went with this paper line so well. And the bird is glossy accented. And then um, this trim down here is also from Saw Crafters. And I sprayed it with my Lindy's um, Stamp Gang. Um, I think it's called... I can't remember. Uh, fuzzy Navel Peach. So that went really well with that um, paper there. And then there's the back of the album. It just has little teapots and um, coffee mugs on it, what have you. So anyway, ladies, there is my album, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And also, I have another project that um, that I've been working on, and this is a plaque that I made. Um, I got the frame from Goodwill for like 99 cents, and I backed it with some Prima printery paper. And then the roses there, you see um, the very top one, the bottom one are recollections, and they are sprayed with Lindy Stamp Gang. Little bit of a bit above a bit of bubbly, and also um, oh goodness, I can't remember the names of these. Wake me up before you go gold. And then the little dress form there. Um, I got the die cut from uh, Mini Album Scraps. A um, site that I belong to and they have special die cuts in their shop and it's just absolutely adorable and then I just um, put ribbon you know for the skirt and just put some beads for the uh, belt and put a little flower there and added some more um, um, trim at the top um, and then I got a little necklace with some um, trim there at the at the top like for the cap sleeves almost but anyway I thought that turned out really good and that's going in my scrapbook room because it is Paris themed so this is the next one I made and the Eiffel Tower is from the um, mini album scraps website again and then some recollections flowers the paper is print Prima Printery and the black flower there is uh, from Saw Crafters and the little bitty flowers around are Recollections and then this little bitty tiny you can't see it that good but anyway it's a little um, charm that I put some bling around that says Paris so these little plaques are going in my scrapbook room so anyway, ladies, thank you very much for watching, and you all have a blessed day. Until next time, bye.